Now we want to look at what is the Federal Reserve. And what roles does it fill? The Federal Reserve Bank which is sometimes referred to as the Fed is the central bank meaning that as the Federal Reserve what it does is it coordinates every um, other bank it regulates every other bank and it you know, basically engages in um, uh, the monetary policy for um, the entire um, for the entire country. Um, what this means is that um, the Fed, the most important thing that it does is that it engages in what's called monetary policy. And what monetary policy means is that you're changing the money supply to change the economy. And to the extent that you think that it can do that, then obviously um, you know, to the extent that you think the Federal Reserve is effective at changing the economy, then you believe um, in the power of the Federal Reserve. Um, other roles for the Fed include that it is the lender of last resort, meaning if banks really need money, they can always, always, always borrow from the Federal Reserve. Um, what they also do is they... Um, They prevent panics in the economy, meaning if everyone starts to line up to get their cash, what they'll do is they'll say, dude, don't worry, everyone will make sure that everyone gets all their money. And so by preventing panics, it then tries to encourage um, stability in the economy. And it also regulates the banks. And well, this one may sound a little bit dated. Um, it does process um, checks that are written. So it operates, it runs um, that system. So these are the roles that the Federal Reserve plays. Now, take very careful note that in listing these things, I never said that the Federal Reserve is actually printing the cash. That's actually part of the federal government. The Federal Reserve Bank is not part of the federal government. It's actually independent of the federal government. And that's actually very important for economists because we don't want typically politicians um, or the government to be changing um to be changing the money supply, because if they started doing that, um, then the problem that we would face is that um, they would change the economy just to get a, um, a certain um, a certain result. Um, we don't typically want that to happen, and so um, we typically want um, the central bank uh, to be independent. Now, the way that this system is then organized. Is that there's a Federal Reserve Chair who basically um, oversees all of the districts. And across the U.S., there are 12 districts. And we are in District 12. Um, <laughs> makes me sound like... This is the uh, Hunger Games. Uh, we are District 12. Um, if you look it up on the web um, and you look for District 12 with the Federal Reserve Banking System, you can see that we actually cover a very wide um, geographical region. We go all the way up to Alaska and as far 
uh, east as, I think, Montana, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a very, very wide, um, I'm just typing it in right now. Um, so yeah, District 12, yeah, it goes all the way out to the, um, through Idaho, so basically just touching Montana, all of Utah, all of Arizona, Alaska, and Hawaii. So uh, that's all of District 12. And if you look at the map, you can see that District 1, District 2, uh, 3, they're very small. Because what happened was is that the, the map was drawn in 1913. When that was drawn, the U.S. looked very different in terms of where um, the central part of the economy was. So as a result, um, you know, if we had to redraw the map again, it would look... Um, quite different. Now, we want to be able to talk a little bit then about what the um, bank does in terms of um, monetary policy. You know, what is it doing um, uh, of these rules that it serves? What's the most important thing that it does? And I'm going to argue to you that the most important thing is going to be this first rule. So that's going to be our setup then for videos 9 and 10, is the setup to what is monetary policy.